Welcome everyone! Welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon and we will be previewing a game by Fi Games or Fi Games called Tiny Keep, a roguelike dungeon crawler. Well, um, just as a quick little note, I really like this. As you can see on the bottom, permission is granted to anyone who wishes to monetize videos that play, reference or review the game. Now, usually you have to, um, you know, look for this stuff on their websites and such. But yeah, this is a really nice little touch down here. Anyway, let's look at the game. Uh, unfortunately, due to time constraints, I haven't been able to play this game a lot. But from what I have played, I love it. So let's just that get that out of the way. This game is awesome. Okay, there we go. You can stop watching now if you wish. You can already go and buy it. <laughs> but if you're interested, you can watch this. So, all the graphics, as you can see, are very stylized and very cute. And also very polished. I'm really, really quite amazed by how the game looks. Okay, so here we go. We can uh, customize our um, survivor or our prisoner. He doesn't look very happy, unfortunately. But yeah, he, he can look like this. You can choose female, male, head color, which is pretty much the hair color. You can do the skin color. You can do jacket color, trousers. I don't know, he can be reddish, pinkish. There we go. Begin! Yeah. Save your coins for a rainy day. So, as I said, this is a dungeon crawler roguelike which means one life that's it you die you start over tiny keep i like that name tiny keep it's cute just like the rest of the game as you will soon see Persdal dungeons 498 love the music that's us Uh, what's going on? There's a paper here. <laughs> I've got the keys! Oh, I'm out of here. Hey, I couldn't wait for you to wake up. You sleep like the grave. I'll leave the door open for you. Don't take too long and be careful. And you best find something to protect yourself with, because those guards are not going to be happy to see us leave. All right, Maggie. Thanks. And here we go, that's us. This is Tiny Keep. We're a prisoner trying to escape. As you can see, the lighting is very nice, because we're carrying that torch uh, thing, lamp. Um, the graphics are very nice. It's just very cute, very stylized and very nice. Now the game sort of relies on uh, physics up to an extent. So that means, you know, we can bump into stuff. Uh, we can bump this over, actually. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Well, this guard over here should be attacking me, but he unfortunately stepped on the uh, trap over there and got killed. How sad. The good thing is, I can pick up his... Oh, I can pick up his um, coins. There's an angry guy over there, which is going to kill me, and I do not have any weapons yet. Huh. A guard fell asleep and I was able to just take this from him. It's going to be a long way to the surface. I think you should have this. This is nice. We got the shield now. The first time I played this, I didn't even get the shield. With a shield, you can block attacks. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. No. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Now, I will try to get them to step over traps and kill themselves. Get over traps. There we go. Uh oh. No. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let's pick up the... Oh, he jumped over it. Did you see that? He now knows that there's a trap. I didn't know that. Oh, bloody hell. They get clever and clever. Uh, we need to find a weapon first. So quickly. There is a weapon. Oh! I just stepped on a trap. That was stupid. Let's eat this. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, oh, no. This is a dead end. This is not going to help. Now, what I can do is try to smash this. No, that's not gonna work. Ow! Ow! Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Now, the cool thing about that is, as you can see, you can uh, smash things over and cause them to light other things, including the enemies. But currently, I'm having really bad luck 
finding the weapon. Uh, because... Oh, 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 there's a trap there. Because this game is procedurally generated. Come over here. Ha! There you go. Excellent. Let's take his money. Oops. Gotta jump over him. Yeah, it's all, everything is procedurally generated, like a roguelike usually should be, I guess. Uh, so every playthrough you have will be different. Therefore, I have no idea where to find that sword. But the sword... Oh, this is where I began. So let's go and check out things. Over here. Oh, crap. There's another one over there. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. I'm so in trouble. I might die already. Ow! Uh, run. There's a sword. Excellent. I had to use it. They didn't give me a chance. They were going to take me to one of those cages. Take this. I can't bear to use it again. I will use it just fine. All right. All right. Now. Ow. Gotta be careful. Our health is over in the top left. Now, these guys will usually run away if you come near, because they're archers. Excellent. There we go. Now we're in business. Now we can actually kill enemies and get their coins. Coins are in the lower right, as you can see. And you will arrive to these little um, bowls or pedestals or whatever. Well, they're not pedestals, bowls, and you can pay. Now, they have different um, costs. For example, this one is only 15 coins, so let's pay it. There we go. Serrated blade. Your blade cuts deeper and bloodier. So, whenever you pay with these bowls, uh, you get a random upgrade. You can't actually select an upgrade. At least I didn't find any way to do so. And, um... Ascending to the next level. And obviously, you upgrade your hero with those. So, you know, useful stuff would be like uh, able to attack several enemies when you're slashing about. So not just attacking one. Um, this is certainly useful because it seems like it'll take less hits to kill uh, enemies. So that's nice. And you just collect gold to upgrade your character. But... That is certainly not all that you can do in Tiny Keep. All locked up with some place to go. I love that little uh, stinger, if you like. It's not really a stinger, but that little music piece there. Continue the escape. And uh, Maggie is uh, leaving us little clues and notes about things that go on. And this will form the story, as you will see. It's been so long since I was on the surface. Do you remember the pie shop on Arneson Lane? Nope. Just waking up to that smell was worth more than a hundred adventures or a thousand pieces of treasure. I don't... I don't actually remember being out there, no. Um, and also a question is, why are we... Oh, you poor guy. Why have we been imprisoned? Yeah, I thought this guy would only take one shot because he was already hurt by this trap and we have a serrated blade. Hello. Blah! Yeah, there we go. Serrated blade damage. Oh, so it's a proc. It doesn't always work, I'm guessing. Okay. Hello there. Yeah, indeed. It only works sometimes. Okay, that's not such a great upgrade then. But anyway, you can you can smash the objects uh, with fire, for example. And it'll put other things on fire. As you can see, everything is burning there. <laughs> which is pretty awesome. You can use traps to your advantage. Uh, get enemies to step into traps. What the hell happened here? That guy just died stepping on a trap. Blech. I love the enemies. As you can see, everybody has enlarged heads and they're fairly stylized. And most of their uh, um, voices are. Oi! I love it. Oh. Come here. I want your donuts. I, I affectionately call them donuts because some of them have a hole in the middle. And yeah, they just look yummy. The gold pieces. Well, that's a lot of traps here. So, uh, the controls, by the way, are WASD to move. Sprint. Oh, I never actually use sprint much. Huh. Um, space is obviously to jump and attack with sword, block with shield. Now, the, the movement is actually... As you can see, the camera is firmly attached to the character. Now, at the very beginning, I can't really say that was disorienting. I just wasn't really used to a control scheme like that. But I have to say, even though, you know, I, I thought I wouldn't like it at the beginning, it's completely fine. And it's very crisp, 
you know, you never feel like uh, um, the camera or the controls are holding you back. If anything, it's the physics that can hold you back. For example, if I'm trying to escape from enemies, and I'm going like this, oh, oh you know, there's, there's all these things in the way, oh, oh, gotta jump over them. Sometimes it can feel like you're a little stuck. But never mind that, I was never really frustrated with it. Oi! So let's block this, there we go, and let's get him. There is... Lovely, lovely gold. There is a, a cell here, but unfortunately no one inside. Now, when you get to cells, you can rescue your fellow survivors. Ah. I was lurking in the shadows and managed to slip past while they were distracted. A band of archers came through and locked the gate behind them. You'd better watch out, one of them has flint and tinder. Oh, this is different. When I was playing this before... Oh, find and defeat the guard boss, grab the prison key and escape. Usually I had a big guy come over with a sword, but now it's gonna be a, an archer? Oh yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now it is indeed an archer, that is cool, even the bosses are different. Well, he's not gonna be too much of a problem, because I'm always over there. Ow! No! I'm on fire! No! No! <laughs> My health is going down really badly. As you can see, the boss has a lot more health, and is a lot more maneuverable, and he also jumps about a lot. Ooh, lovely. Sir Richard Cobb, the unburnable, has been defeated, so he cannot burn. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, when I was playing this myself, I had a different boss come up. It was a big guy in armor with a huge sword. I don't really have to eat the uh, food because my health will be replenished on the next level. Um, yeah, and I had to defeat him. And the first time I played through, I didn't even find the shield. So that, you can imagine, was a bit of a problem. I'm not... Yeah, I will pay for this. Serrated... And again! Times two, actually. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess I could say I was a little unlucky. Whoops. I smashed that over. So, again, even though I didn't have enough time to really play this game, what I did play was extremely enjoyable. Um, partly because the game looks so nice. I just really enjoy the sort of cartoony, uh, stylized look. Um... And just generally, the game is very polished. Uh, you know, controls feel crisp. Um, voices, sound effects, uh, picking up gold, uh, fire, all of that stuff is very nice. And uh, just the gameplay itself, it's a lot of fun. And there's a, a bone of contention, there we go. This is a cool little twist here. And I love this part. Bone of contention. Let's go and investigate. There's some sort of weird colored doors up ahead. Just imagine, behind one of those lies the exit. Why wouldn't give to feel the sun on my skin and eat fresh bread crusts again? Alrighty, let's go. Now, whenever you die, obviously this is a roguelike, as I said. Ooh, that guy died. I'm gonna get his donuts. Can you die? <laughs> Love the music. Love it. <clears throat> Mm, whenever you die, since this is a roguelike, you have to start over. Now, uh, in most, well, most roguelikes, I haven't played that many roguelikes. Come here. He's running away. In a lot of roguelikes, what happens is... Um, you get upgrades, and you keep those upgrades for your next character. Not over here, though. You lose everything, so basically you're starting a new game. So, if you wish to finish the game... Let's see, you see a bubbling cauldron full of green corrosive liquid. Can't actually push it over. Uh, yeah, if you want to finish the game, you have to finish it in one go, I assume. I don't think there's a way to... save? No. So that could be a little frustrating, I guess. But, with... Hmm... The door appears to be locked by a mysterious green energy, which means we probably need a green key, and a blue key over here. Yeah, but with, with the gameplay so, uh, so much fun... Ooh, I don't think that would be a very big problem. Wait a second... This is locked as well. 
Was there another door here? The, uh, there was, okay. You have regained a little health. Hello there. I've got a serrated blade. Mmm. Donuts. <laughs> what are these? Oh, yeah. There's these bats coming out of everywhere. There's a blue part over there that I can't get to. Ah, chest. Let's open it. Ah! A blue key. Excellent. You have acquired the sapphire wand key. And we can pay for it, but this is a hundred. And that is why I'm keeping my uh, some of my gold now. Hey, come over here. He wasn't even aware I was here. Which is nice. So we can just get him. Uh, which way should we go? Let's go to the blue doors over here. Your sapphire wand key has removed... The energy from the blue door and there's a ow <laughs> ah there is the skull we need a purple key for that all right let's go over here come on open another one now this is cool uh when i was playing this i also got across this skeleton i was like oh well that's cool is he gonna wake up or something i'm gonna punch him something bad will happen nope you get the gold <laughs> which is nice it's like a bit a bit like a chest, I guess. Let's dig the gold. But even as I'm recording this, I'm really, really rather enjoying this game thoroughly. And I'm actually really surprised. I mean, I'm not saying that indie games are bad. Far from it. A lot of them are much, much more enjoyable and better than AAA games. But I'm just really surprised at the whole... Ow, ow, ow. The fact that this game is so polished and so fun to play at the same time. I'm saying that as if those two are exclusive to each other. Which is clearly not the case. But it, it just feels like a really, really quality product. It feels like this was done with millions of dollars of budgets. That's what it feels like. I guess that's why it's so surprising. Because this game was obviously uh, funded by a Kickstarter. And yes, you can get loads of money on Kickstarter, of course, if you're lucky. But um, I believe, apart from... Uh, I don't even know if that was started on Kickstarter. Apart from Star Citizen, I don't think many games got a really, really large amount. Alright, well, let's go. Die! I need the purple key. This is quite a uh, large and elaborate place here. I'm surprised. Again, everything is procedurally generated. So, what you see here, you will not have in your playthrough. I mean, yes, you will. You'll have the skeleton, you'll have the enemies and such. But, the layout of the dungeon will be completely different from mine. And I've just, I've just, I've been just walking around here without any rhyme or reason now, so I'm really a bit lost as to where I was going. Oh, you have a map, of course. See, I was, I never actually checked this out. That's a bit silly that I haven't. Okay, there's a green door over here, which we can't actually get to. Wait a second. All right, okay. We need to actually go right up to the wall so it uh, shows. Let's go to the blue doors over here. Avoid the trap, of course. Okay, we've already opened these. We just need to get the other... Uh, the other keys, then. That is pretty cool. Ow! Damn you. Nope. We want to go the other way. Somewhere over here. Should be fine, I think. I'm not going to eat that food just yet. The key should be around here somewhere. Also more enemies over here. Yeah, that serrated blade is quite nice. When it procs. When it doesn't, it's not that big of an upgrade, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not sure what these guys are. They look like... They, they might be jail keepers or something. Wait, isn't that the beginning? It is indeed. Um, hmm. Where the hell do I find that... Oi. Oi. Where the hell do I find that uh, other key? I've got the- oh yeah, I've got the green one now, of course. I thought I didn't for some reason, that was odd. See, I'm talking too much. 
and not paying enough attention to the actual game. <laughs> Oi! But it's just, it's just very satisfying to take enemies out. Because I believe there's a little shake every time you hit something. Can we do anything with this now? No, we can't. Um, there's a nice sound effect. And it just feels like your sword actually has impact. So that's really nicely done. Ah, that is where the key will be. Oh my god, there's a lot of them here. Did you, <laughs> did you see they actually hit him? With the arrows? Oh, I don't want to do that. I thought I've already killed him. <laughs> yeah, that's right! Yeah, I know this here! Alright, now let's get the key and the food. Ah, now the stuff is gonna get really interesting. Okay, so where did we see the purple door? To the left. See, that's much easier. I haven't even... Uh, Spotted that there's a map before. Oi! Off you go. Ah, I can't get that. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Can't get that without getting hit. Okay, I need to get in here. There's the purple door. Now, let's go there. Your amethyst wand key has removed the energy from this magenta door. Let's read the note. I don't know what the skull thing is, but I found a sword lying against it. It looks older than even the dungeon walls themselves. It's different to anything else I've seen. I'd better take it with me to keep it safe. This place doesn't feel right. There's probably a good reason why that skull is bound in chains. Okay, that's interesting. Now, what do we do? Let's touch the skull, of course. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, music has stopped. Oh no. Something doesn't feel quite right. Uh oh. The invasion has begun. Oh no. <laughs> and now we've completely changed the dungeon, and there's lots of undead. <laughs> oh my god. And they've got glowing stuff here. Oh my god, look at that! Holy crap, there's too many of them! Okay, I'm gonna try to get into cover so I'm not pelted by archers. Oh, bloody hell! There's more of them there. What the hell is that?! <laughs> That's madness! Oh, there's more of them! I'm gonna die now. Let's that guy... That guy can... Oh no. Oh no. I can't do anything here. I've got my shield up. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. What? What's going on over there? There's a huge demon! <laughs> oh crap. Where's that, um... Where's that corrosive thing? That's not good. Where is it? Let's see. No. The right. There it is. I don't even know what to do with it. Can I do? No? I can't do anything. I thought I could put those green... ...coins in there. Or, maybe I just need to get to the exit. I'm about to die. Oh! Well, thank you. You just helped me. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get out of here. Right now. Um, or get some food. Where's the exit? Where will be the exit? Over here somewhere? Oh, he's got a shield as well. <gasps> oh dear. By the way, if you keep your shield up, you- Ow! You cannot block everything. You actually need to face what you're blocking. Ooh. That guy is actually helping me. Oh dear. I need some food right now. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody... <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you were sliced by a bony sword. <laughs> oh, man, this game gets so frantic so quickly. Oh, man. They say there's a keep where ale pours from the walls and soft, freshly baked bread paves the dungeon. That's terrible thanks to your shoes, though. <laughs> 
And there we go. I died. I could begin my daring escape once again. I've died last time when I encountered the skeletons, and I've died now when I've encountered the skeletons. Now, I can't even imagine, there must be much, much more to this. As you've seen, there was this huge demon-type thing just killing everyone in one of the rooms, but I ran away. So, uh, I, I cannot stress this enough. Um, Tiny Keep is brilliant. Brilliant on every level, pretty much. It's cheap, It's it's got the graphics, it's very cute, it's got great gameplay, and it's got great replayability. It just feels really, really fun, really, really good. If you like dungeon crawlers, hack and slash, and roguelikes, this is the game for you. Definitely, you're not gonna regret this. If you like the gameplay, go and get it right now. It's on Steam, and from when I'll post this video, they've actually got a uh, little promotion going. So you've got about two days, I think, where you can ga get the game about 30% cheaper. So go and get it. Right now, this gets the Metal Canyon seal of approval. This is this is so much fun. I might actually let's play this. It's just brilliant fun. Just be prepared to be frustrated when you die like this, when you're thinking, Oh yes, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it! And then 10,000 skeletons come and kill you. <laughs> so, this has been Metal Canyon, and we've been previewing Tiny Keep. What a brilliant little game. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.